Hi, thanks for working out with me today. We're going through another superset challenge. This one is going to be for our abs. You'll need a Pilates box. You'll also need a mini ball. I have those off to the side. We won't be working with those till later on. Start with your foot bar down. Start with one medium spring. For me, that is a blue spring. And we're gonna come onto our hands and knees facing your tower. Hands on the shoulder blocks, knees on the carriage, hips distance apart. First off, find that nice long straight line from the crown of the head to the tailbone. And we're going to start to do a little scoop as you round your back and then a little extension as you arch your back. Just starting to warm up those core muscles, scooping and then doing a little extension to arch. And just a little cat and cow. We're going to get moving pretty quickly and get into some really fun, intense ab work. As always, take it at your own pace. Do what you can. Modify when you need. I'll give you, be giving you hopefully a lot of modifications to find one that works for you. Just a few more of those rounding the back and arching the back. And one more of those rounding and arching. Come right back to that neutral spine, neutral pelvis and send your right leg long. Send your left arm up and find what we call bird dog in personal training, but I don't know why that pops out, but this tabletop position with one arm long, the other leg long, and now you're going to pull the knee and elbow towards each other and then press them back out. Good. Pull the knee and elbow and then press it back out. Doing this little scoop of the abs and then back to neutral. Using your breath. Good. You're going to do that three more times. And two. And one more time. Good. Take the arm down, set the knee down, but keep your toes lifted. So I have my right toes lifted. I'm going to pivot on the right knee and look towards the right toes to the right. And then pivot on the right knee and look towards the right toes to the left. So it's a little tail wag from side to side. Now we're laterally flexing the spine, right rib to the hip, and then left rib to the hip. Just doing a little lateral flexion from the right and to the left. Just a few more here. Believe me, you'll be happy that we're doing this <laughs> once we get into those hard exercises. Now let's go back to the center, find that neutral and switch. Bring your left leg long, take your right arm long, find that length from fingers to toes, and now let's pull the elbow and knee together and push and press it away. Elbow and knee pulls and push and press it away. Good. Stay nice and soft and relaxed through your upper body. Three more to go, pulling in and out. And two. And one more. Again, we'll take the arm down, set the knee down, but keep the toes lifted to the ceiling. Now I want you to look to the left, tail wag to the left, and then look to the right, tail wag to the right. Good, so we're looking to the left, and we're looking to the right. Looking to the left, lateral flexion from one side to the other, lateral flexion from one side to the other. Getting that nice big stretch, rib to hip, one more each side, and then we'll come to the center. All right, we're ready to go. Your feet are going to go up against the wood. Your elbows are going to go down into the carriage. You can interlace your fingers or grab onto the shoulder blocks, whatever feels best for your shoulder width. We're going to push out with your right leg straight. Keep your left knee on the carriage. Now really push into those forearms, push into the right leg, and start to lift your left knee into your chest and set it back down. Pull that knee into your chest and set it back down. Now this can be a little bit challenging with your elbows on the carriage. So if you want to do this with a moon box and elevate your elbows a little bit, that will make it easier. You could even do this with the short box on up against the shoulder blocks and that would make it even easier. So really the higher our elbows are for this exercise, the easier it's going to be. Three more and two. Hold your next one up. We're going to keep that knee lifted and then shoot it back to the wood. 
drop your tailbone, find that nice long spine, and then push your elbows out and bring your elbows in. Now I promise the whole hour of this superset abs is not going to be planking. <laughs> We're just starting with planks, but don't worry, it's not going to be planking for the whole time. Drop your tailbone, pull those abs in tight, squeeze your legs, reach energy from the crown of the head all the way through the tailbone and even all the way out through those heels. Last two and one. Set your right knee down, keep that carriage long, keep your left leg long this time, push into your forearms, pull your abs in, let's lift your right knee up and set it down. Again, if this is too challenging, make that modification. You can always pause me, put your moon box on, put your short box on. You can kind of do this whole series that we're actually gonna be doing right here with the planking on the box and it will be easier. Good. But this is gonna be the advanced class, so I am doing the advanced option. Two more. Hold your next one up, shoot that foot back to the wood, drop your tail. Now let's pull the knees in and push the legs out. Pull the knees in, push the legs out. Good, nice long line. Control your springs. I'm moving through molasses, so I'm not gonna try to fling my body in and out. I know I wanna get it over with, but the faster I go, the less control I have and the less I'm getting out of this. So I've got to really fight myself to go slow. Try to stay with my pace if you can for three or even slower and two and one. Good work. Let's come in and set the knees down. Now for a little side plank, I want you to pop yourself onto your left hip. You're gonna put your left elbow in line with your left shoulder. And then your feet are gonna be left foot in front of the right. So your right hand can be here on the carriage. We're gonna push the carriage out and then pull the carriage in. So like I said before, if you have your short box on, this is gonna make it a little easier. So with our upper body elevated, you have less work. Good. Now if you're feeling really good, don't drop those hips down. Just go in and out with those hips up the whole time. You can even bring this right hand to your hip. Good, three to go. And two. We're gonna hold the next one out there, hold it, and now push your left elbow out and in. More points of contact on the carriage is easier, so I can bring my right hand down for a little assistance. Not a big motion, just little. More weight will also give you more support, so if this is too hard, you might wanna pop on an additional light spring to give you a little bit more support. Three, and two, and one. Nice, let's come in and drop the hip. Good, take your feet in front of you, and then we're gonna pick up that strap closest to you and put the little loop on your left inner thigh, right above your knee. Now once you've got the loop there, slide more into the middle and pretty far forward and come to your elbows. Once you're on your elbows, lift those legs into tabletop. From here, we're gonna open the knees and close the knees, good. Now I'm trying to lift my chest, lift my sternum, so I'm not trying to just sink into my elbows here. I'm lifting up and out of my elbows. Nice. We're gonna do three different variations, building on each one. Good. Now we're gonna to start to add a leg extension. So you bring the knees together, you extend your legs, you pull them back in, you open them up. So we're gonna close, extend, bend, and open. Good. Close, extend, bend, and open. Nice. Now the last thing we're gonna add to this is an arm lift. Now for me, that right arm doesn't tend to be taking all the weight. I don't think there's any way I could lift my left arm. So I'm gonna try to lift my right arm after one more, and that'll be the last thing I add on here. Good, so open your knees, close your knees. When you send the legs out, maybe send the right arm up, 
bring it down. Do that again. You're going to close your knees, reach the arms and leg, or legs and arm, and then close the knees, reach the right arm and leg, good, and then open, nice. Close, reach, come down, and open. Last two, close, reach, come down, and open. One more, close, reach, come down, open. Close your knees. Second round, lift your sternum. Can cam, we're letting the left hip lift, bringing the knees to the right. Left hip lifts, and then back, good. Left hip lifts, and then back, nice. Good work. Again, it'll be three sets, and we will be adding on each set. So just like we did on the last exercise, the next time the knees go to the right, you're going to hold, send your legs long, bend them, and come back. So you're going to go right, extend, bend, and back. Now as you're doing the second set, think, could you possibly lift your left hand? Because that's the arm that we're going to try to lift this time. Nice work. Not yet. Just a few more sets of this, and then we'll lift. Here's two. Good work. One more. Now let's give it a try on this set. So we're going to go over, extend and lift the arm, come back and de back down. Good. So you go over, you extend, you bend, come back. Now again, if that's too challenging, then you can keep the arm down. <sighs> Good. Use your breath when you need. Nice. Almost there. Last two to go. A lot of obliques. Last one. Good. And release. Let's set the feet down. Slide just a smidge forward and lay all the way back this time. So your hands are going to go behind the head. Your knees are going to go wide. And then I want you to close your knees together. Just open your knees wide close them together. Good. So just a little different angle, working this open and close. We'll be doing just a few of these and then adding some abs. Okay, this is already abs. Adding more abs. You know this whole class is abs, right? So abs and abs. <sighs> One more. Now hold. I want you to take your upper body, go over the carriage, and then do a little crunch. Now you're trying to hold those knees together the best you can. You can probably see my legs shaking because those inner thighs are on fire having to work. And I already did this yesterday, so I'm really tired today. I tried to do it yesterday, but I wasn't ready to film it till today, so I'm like, I gotta do it again. All right, so when your upper body goes back, you're gonna drop your right leg long and then bring it back. Now you'll do the left leg. When you go back, you extend the leg. So when you go back, one leg extends. When you come up, it comes in. Alternate to the other leg. Good. This is the last thing we're doing in this little set here. So if you want it more challenging, the final add-on, instead of alternating our legs, is I want you to go with both legs out and both legs in. If that is too much, you go higher with those legs. And if that is still too much, you keep alternating. <sighs> you know, you're probably feeling a lot of work through your obliques, which is good. We're going to be coming up in two. <sighs> and one. <sighs> Pull the knees into the chest. Roll yourself up and take that strap off. Okay, we've got one more little segment before we do all of this on the second side. So I want you to go ahead and put your bar up. You'll have your hands on the bar, your right foot's up against the shoulder block, your right leg's going to push the carriage out long. You're still on the medium blue spring. Bend your left knee to take the carriage back, hop off the left foot and do a little pike. Like you're trying to take your hips straight up to the ceiling and you're trying to bring your shoulders right over your wrists. Almost like you could go into a handstand with the upper body. body. <sighs> These are our cardio lunges. I used to teach this on a heavy spring, 
and then as my clients got stronger, we took it down to the medium. So this is a pretty intense weight to be working on. A heavier spring would give you more support. Now take your left knee, bring it to your left elbow, and then bring it back. Bring it to the left elbow and back. Again, we're trying to control our motion, almost like you're moving through molasses, slow and steady. Three more and two. Now the final set, we're going to come up, hold that elbow to knee, hold it, take the leg long, pull it back in, and then step down. Elbow to knee, push it back, pull it in, come down to land. Elbow to knee, push it back, pull it in, come down to land. Connect to your lats, slide your shoulders down, push your hands away from each other. They're not gonna move on the bar, but it's this energy of the, the arms going away to connect to your back. <sighs> nice job. One more. Good. Now we're going to come up and transition. So pull the left knee to the elbow, hold. Take the left leg, cross it over the right into a plank. Drop your tail, push out on the arms on the bar. Lift your hips and touch the carriage into the bumper and then release. Give the bumper a kiss and release. <sighs> Little kiss with the bumper. <sighs> nice work. Three to go, and two, and one. Step the left foot to the floor, put the right foot onto the carriage, and take a little stretch. Okay, we have one side done, second side to go. Go ahead and bring the carriage in. Put your foot bar down. We already did all the planking that we wanted to do facing down, so let's face the right. So we'll start with the side planks on this side. You've got your right elbow in line with your shoulder. Your left foot is in front of your right. You're going to push out into your side plank, and then you can come in and you can always rest. So the first option is coming down between every set, having the left hand down to support you. As you get stronger, you don't come down between every set. You stay up, and the left hand can go to the hip or to the ceiling. Now remember your options, you can be on the moon box, you can have your short box on. The more elevated your elbow is, the easier this will be. Good, now I want you to take it now, don't lower the hips, go in and out without that rest. Good work. Same thing, more support, higher weight is going to be less challenge. So if you need it easier, add weight. If you need it harder, take weight away. There's not much more weight you can take away, but hold it out. Push the elbow out and in. Out and in. Good. Push, pull in. Push, pull in. Nice work. Pull in. Push, pull in. For three, two, and one. Good. Come in and rest. Put your feet off to the front. Take that strap closest to you over to the right. Put the little loop on your right thigh. And then I want you to be pretty much in the center of the carriage, a little far forward with your elbows onto the carriage, chest lifted, legs to table. So let's start by opening the knees, zipping them together. Open the knees, zip them together. So we have three sets of these two exercises that we'll do here on the elbows. Each will get a little harder, so you stay where you can. One more. Now we're going to add that extension. So you open the knees, close the knees, send the legs long, pull them in. Open the knees, close the knees, send them long, pull them in. The lower you send them, the harder. So you can always send them high to the ceiling if it's too challenging. You can send them low to the floor if you need more. Good work. Keep lifting your sternum, pushing out of those forearms. Now remember, the last thing we added is going to be that left arm extending towards the legs. One more. 
Now this time, open the knees, close the knees, lift the arm, bring it down. Open the knees, close the knees, add the arm, pull it down. It's not easy. Open, close, add the arm, back in. Open, close, add the arm, and in. Three, you're doing great. Use your breath. Two. One more. Good. Now hold the knees to closed. Lift your right hip to a little can-can to the foot bar and back. Keep lifting up and out of your shoulders, pushing down into those forearms. So it's just a little lift and lower. Same thing, we're doing three sets. One more, let's get ready to add the leg extension. So we're gonna go to the left, extend, bend, come back. So a little extension just adds time that we're holding against that tension of the strap pulling us. Now you might be feeling more weight this time in the left because our option is to lift the right arm after two. After one, okay, last set. Let's lift that right arm. So go over, lift, lower, come in. Go over, lift, lower, come in. Nice job. Over, lift, lower, come in. Three. And two. One more, nice, come all the way in. Set the feet down, slide a little farther forward, and then lay backwards. Hands behind the head, up in a little crunch, tailbone heavy. Just open the knees and close the knees. Now, if you're like me, this right leg is shaking because it's a lot of inner thigh. Remember, the inner thigh is the gateway to the core. So I know this is the ab class, not the inner thigh class but it's all by design. You're working it all. Two more. <sighs> Hold your knees together. You're gonna crunch your body, open it back and extend one leg away from you and then pull it back in. Open it back, extend the other leg, pull it back in. Sorry, on the other side, we just started with the upper body. We went right into it. So if you need to do just the upper body, that's fine. We kind of went, right into the whole shebang of both legs and both arms, or both, <laughs> both legs and your, your torso pulling back. Good. And if you wanted more, you have the option of both legs going out at the same time. So I'm going to do just two more of the single. And then if you want to go with double, you can join me. We're going out and back in. And letting those the head rests back into the hands, keeping your elbows wide and just going out and in. Three. And two. And one. Really good job. Let's roll up and we'll take the strap off. It's time to put the foot bar up and finish this whole series with our cardio lunges. You have your foot bar up, hands on the foot bar, left foot up against the shoulder block, push that left leg straight, it's never gonna bend. Bend your right leg and then push off and do a little scoop like you're bringing your hips to the ceiling. <sighs> Almost like I'm doing a handstand with my upper body. Wrist in line with my shoulders, hips really high. Push out into your hands like you're sliding them apart to activate your back. Good. Two more of the scoop. Now let's take your right knee, put it by your right elbow, and then bring it down. Elbow, knee to elbow. Good. Now the third and final I know is very challenging, so you can always keep staying with this. Two more and then let's try the plank if you want to join me. So the next time the elbow goes to the knee, you hold it, send the leg back, bring it forward, then come down. Go in, 
out, in, and down. In, out, in, and down. Really good. In, out, in, and down. <sighs> Two more. Then we have our fun transition where we're going to cross the right leg over the left. So come and hold the knee to elbow. Right leg crosses over the left. You're going to kiss the carriage into the bumper and back. Give it a kiss and back. Good. Give it a kiss and back. <sighs> nice work. <sighs> Three. <sighs> two. <sighs> and one. Nice. Take the right foot down. Put the left knee down. Take a little lunge stretch. Okay, we're about halfway done. So I'm also breaking this class into some shorter in case you don't have an hour to work the abs. I'll put this also as a 30 minute class where you can be done by that. At the, right at that point, you'll be done. But we're doing the hour class today, so let's go ahead and come up. Now you will need your ball and you will also need your box. The box is gonna go on long position and the ball is gonna go between your knees. So let's go ahead and come onto the box. Now I'm gonna actually push the carriage out a little bit and sit at the edge of the box. And then I'm gonna put the ball between my knees and put my feet onto the foot bar. Come down to your elbows and give that ball a squeeze. So we're gonna do a little, remember it's light, it's a blue spring. So when you push out, you're going to do a little hop and then land. So just a little jump and land, and a little jump and land. Same thing when we were on our elbows facing the side, you wanna really lift that sternum. Try not to sag and sink. You're lifting out and creating space across your clavicle, nice and long. Good work. Ten more seconds of jumping here, and then we're going to move the ball and do some single leg jumps. Good. Give me two more jumps and one more jump. Nice. Now let's come in, just put the ball underneath the right hamstring, and we're going to jump on the left leg and just find that jump first. Good. Keep lifting your sternum. Three more jumps, and then we'll start to add this right leg into the mix. So when you land the next time, take that right toes down, and then bring them up when you jump. Bring them down, up when you jump. Go down in the well, up when you jump. And I want you to squeeze that ball and squeeze that knee into your chest using those abs to lift that leg. Right now the leg is in parallel. One more, and then we're gonna turn both legs into a turnout. So now you're turned out, you're pulling that knee in to the side, and your left leg is in a little turnout position while you're jumping. Good. Use that breath to help you connect to the core. I'm exhaling as I pull that knee into the chest. Three more on this leg. Nice work. Two and one. Now let's come in and switch legs. Go back to parallel. Ball under the left hamstring. Right leg will start your jumps. Just jumping with that right leg first. Squeezing that ball tight with your left and lifting your sternum. Every time you jump, those abs have to kick in to support this leg that's long. Good, two more jumps, and then we will start 
the left leg moving. So when you come in the next time, the left leg goes down, it goes back into the chest. You bring it down, <sighs> squeeze it into the chest. <sighs> Good. <sighs> nice, we're in parallel with both legs. Just two more times in parallel. And then I want you to turn both toes out and jump in the turnout. Now I'm pulling that knee more to my left shoulder every time I jump. Now this is kind of the reason we're up on this box because if we weren't on the box, it'd be a little hard to add this leg. But if you're having a hard time on the box, you can just do ab jumps on the mat or the carriage like we've done before. And then we'll come in and rest. Okay, the ball is going to go behind your back. I'm gonna bring my feet on the gray surface. You could also keep them on the foot bar. Put the ball between your shoulder blades and take the hands behind your head. You're gonna crunch out over the ball, take a little extension, and then I want you to crunch back up. I'm going back into an extension and crunching back up. Good, just focusing on those upper abdominals. As you can tell, mine are tired. <laughs> They're already shaking. Good, last two. And one more. Now I want you to come up a little to the left and down. Come up a little to the right and down. So we're just going a little to the left and then we're going a little to the right. And again, it's not a big motion side to side because I want you to focus on the shoulder staying back, the elbow staying back, the chest staying broad. But we're going a little to the side and then we're gonna be taking this around the world. So when you go to the left the next time, you're gonna hold it up, go to the center, go to the right, come down, center, and back. So you're going up, center, side, back, center, side, up, center, side, back, center, side. As you notice, we're going in one direction, which means <laughs> we have to go in the other direction. Center, side, back, center, side. Up, 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 back, back, back. One more, up, 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 back, back. Now let's reverse. So go right, up, center, side, back center, side, up, right, crunch. So it's kind of three little crunches up and three extensions back. Up, 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 back, back, back. Good, squeezing that navel in towards your spine. Thinking of that corset drawing on. Good. Three more. Two more, and one more. Now stay in the center, go up the midline, take your arms over your head, you can interlace your fingers, let your head rest on the bicep and curl up and down. Make sure you're not driving your chin into your chest, you're reaching your arms long, you can interlace your fingers and make that, look like, make that little pointer finger long, if that feels okay. If this is too much, keep the hands behind your head. We're just doing a little final sizzle of that upper abdominal before we move into the lower part of the abs. I know it's one ab, but <laughs> just the focus. Last three, back and forward, two, and one. Bring the arms up, come all the way up, and step off the machine. Okay, a few changes. I want you to take your straps off. I want you to remove your box and put it on, bring your ball, <laughs> put it on against the risers, short box position. And you will also need to take your shorter blocks and put those away. We don't want to have those on for the next segment. I want you to come to kneeling. You're still in that medium blue spring. You know it's my favorite. We'll stay there all day. Well, till the end. <laughs> and then I want you to pop that ball between your knees. So your elbows are on the box, your knees are on the carriage. Now think of your lower abdominals doing a little curl as you pull the carriage to the box and release. 
two options. You can be here on your knees. You can lift onto your toes. Pull in and out, and in and out. So choose the option that works for you. Good work. Three to go. Three and two and one. Come back, come onto your hands instead of your elbows and push yourself back into a little down dog position. If this is not enough rest, you can always come to child's pose. Just wanna take a second to lengthen before we do our side. Okay, now let's come down. Turn your knees to the right, back to your elbows, knees to the right. Your right knee will be lifted because you've got the ball and you're doing a little left rib to hip, squeeze, release. Now if you want it harder, your legs are straight, you're on your feet, and you're bending in and out. Good. Good work. Three more. And two. And one. Come back. Turn your toes back to the box. Come onto your hands. Push into your down dog or push into the child's pose. Take a little stretch before we get to the second side. Again, you're in charge of the variation on the knees or on the feet. Let's come to the elbows first. I'm gonna go down to my knees to show. You're gonna turn to your left. Your left knee is not going to be pushing into the carriage, it's hovering. Do a little scoop and release. A little scoop and release. If you want more challenge, go up to those feet. Come in and out, in and out. Nice, three more, and two, and one. Turn your toes back to the box, come back to your hands, and push back into your plank, or your down dog, out of your plank. Take a breath, we're going back to the center. We're doing again a few sets, we're supersetting. This time in the center, we're gonna hold in and do little pulses. So you're either on your knees or you're on your feet. I'm just gonna go ahead and go right to my feet. You want to pull the knees in to the box and pulse. One inch, one inch. Now I'm pulsing the carriage in an inch, in an inch. Again, the knees can be down or you can do a few of each. So if you're getting tired, set the knees down, keep moving, lift the knees up when you're ready. Three, two, now hold it into the carriage, knees up or knees down, squeeze the ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to down dog, coming on the hands and pushing the hips back. Okay, second side will, or the, the next thing on the side is going to be a plank and we're not gonna be moving the carriage. So I want you to come onto your knees, put your left elbow onto the box in line with your shoulders. So first option, I'm gonna have my ball between my knees. I'm gonna lower my left hip, lift my left hip. I'm sinking that hip down and then zipping it back up. Now if you want it harder, put the ball in your hands, come to your legs, down and up. You're going down and up, good. Three, two, now either on your knees or here, you can reach the ball up. We're gonna thread the needle and come back up. Thread the needle. Now see how I'm trying to lift my hips and bring them up and back as I thread the needle. Three more. The grand finale will be moving the carriage. You can be on your knees, you can be on your feet. Either one is fine. We're gonna take the hand, right hand to the box, pull the knees in, do little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, you've got it, six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Come back, come to your down dog. You can pop that ball back between your thighs and take a little stretch. Again, you can always substitute this for child's pose. Because we have that other side to do, you can do it. You're doing great. Okay, second side, remember your options. Always choose the option that works for you today. Right elbow in line with your shoulder. Your left hand can be on your hip, you're squeezing the ball. You're dropping the right hip, squeezing it up. Dropping it down, squeezing it up. Second option, you're on your feet, holding the ball with your left hand, dropping up and down. Good. Take your time. Now either on the feet or on the knees, lift the left arm to the ceiling, thread your needle, and bring it back. Thread your needle and bring it back. Nice. Three to go. And two. Do one more, and then left hand comes to the box. You're on the knees or the feet. Come in with your carriage and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. Find down dog one more time, just to kind of come full circle <laughs> with the whole work, and take a stretch. Okay, guys. Two segments left to go, and we are done with the entire sequence. Okay, for this one, we're going to put the shoulder blocks back on. I know that was a little short stint with no shoulder blocks, but I like to, I like to get them out of the way. So we've got the shoulder blocks back on. We're going to put the box off to the side. We'll revisit the box for the very last sequence. And you don't need the ball. I'm just going to put it right there on the foot bar. Put on a heavy red spring in addition to your medium blue. So you should be one blue, one heavy. One blue, we medium, one heavy red. <laughs> and then put your straps back onto your pegs. Let's lay down. Probably one of the standard ab exercises is mid-back series, and we haven't done it yet. We haven't really done any laying down yet. So let's lay down. Take your arms to the ceiling. Plug those shoulders back and down. Legs and tabletop. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift your head, your neck, your shoulders. Take the arms long. Now my right leg's gonna go over the bar. My left leg's gonna go under the bar. Pull the knees in, lower the head, arms go up. Let's do that again. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Switch your legs. Left leg over, right leg under. Pull them back in and lower down. We'll keep doing that, lifting up. Keep alternate, alternating right on top, left on bottom. And then come in. You'll lift up, left on top, right on bottom. And if you get overwhelmed with which one to go, it doesn't matter. Just keep moving. One leg on top, one on bottom, and then you'll just keep switching. <sighs> nice job. We're going to do that two more times through. I would like for you to make sure your headrest is down, though, because we want to have that down for the next thing. Now, arms to the ceiling, legs and table. Let's take the hands to the mat and do a little reverse curl. Lower the hips down and send the arms back up. Lower the arms to the mat, little reverse curl. Send the hips back down to neutral and bring the arms up. So arms go down, you do a little reverse curl. Arms come up and you go again. Arms down. Reverse curl. Really, we're just giving my neck a break. You might need, not need a break from your neck, but <laughs> I definitely need a break after that. So we're going to do kind of three rounds, three sets, three supersets. One more. Good. Now keep your arms to the sides. I want you to bend your elbows. I want you to lift your head, neck, and shoulders and hold. Take your right, arm on right leg on top, left leg on bottom, and we're going to go up with the legs, down with the legs. Up with the legs, down with the legs. So it's a little tick, tuck, tick, tuck. Keep lifting the head, looking towards that navel. Good. We've got four, three, two, one. Pull the knees in, 
Bend the elbows, release to your head. Second side, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Reach the arms long. Left leg on top, right leg on bottom. Tick, top, tick, tuck. Arms stay long. If you need to lower the head, you can. This is why we're taking the break <laughs> between sets. <laughs> Good. Three, two, one. Pull the knees in, arms to the sides. Now let's take the arms back to the ceiling. Pull the arms to the hips. I want you to open your knees, do a little diamond lift, and then lower. Good. Now since the knees are open, we're going to open the arms to a V. Close the arms, do a little diamond lift, and then back. So diamond lift just means your legs are in a little more of an extended tabletop. So it's kind of like tabletop turned out, but a little bit bigger. It's like a diamond. <sighs> now you're using your arms as much or as little as you need. <sighs> Good. <sighs> nice work. Three. And two. And one more. All right, last set of lifting the head. Bring the legs back to tabletop. Open the arms to a T. Now we're going to lift the head, neck, and shoulders and hold. Send both legs under. Pull them in. Spin, send both legs over. Pull them in. Lower back down. Again, lift the head, neck, and shoulders and hold. Go under, pull it in, go over, pull it in, lower down. And again, lifting up and holding. Go under, pull it in, go over, pull it in, lower down. Just a few more, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, hold. Go under, pull it in, go over, pull it in, and lower. Let's do two more. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders, go under, Pull it in, go over, pull it in, release, last one, lifting up, go under, pull it in, go over, pull it in, and release. Bring the arms to the ceiling, take the arms to the mat, send your legs long. Now we're going to actually start with the arms to the ceiling, <laughs> legs long. So we're doing our overhead, which is kind of the hardest of the ones we've done. So arms long, head rest down, legs resting on the foot bar. You're going to, at the same time, pull your arms down, lift your legs up, lift your hips, do a rollover, lower slowly, 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 resist gravity. The legs go down, the arms go up. You can rest your feet on the foot bar or hover to make it harder. Arms go down, legs lift. You roll your spine up. You slowly resist gravity. As you roll down, the arms go up, the legs go long, and hover. <sighs> Good. You could even add one more thing here. You might even know what it would be. So we're doing, if you want, a jackknife. So you come up with the legs, down with the arms. You lift your hips. You spring open like a Swiss Army knife. You close, lower the hips, arms to the ceiling. Do that again. Arms go down, legs come up. You roll the hips up, spring open, spring closed, roll down, arms high, legs low. Come arms down, legs up, roll the hips up. Spring open, spring closed, roll down. Last one, pull the arms down, Roll the hips up, spring the hips open, roll the hips closed, and roll yourself down. Knees to the chest, put those straps away, give yourself a little hug. Okay, we've made it to our last sequence. I'm just going to look at my pile of sweat here, <laughs> so it's very hot. Okay, put your box on again, and it's going to go on long position. I could never go do an abs class without this exercise, one of my favorites. Take your heavy red spring off. So we're back to the medium blue. Bring your ball with you. I want you to sit on the long box with your feet on the headrest. And then if you have your little loops, those are going to go on your thighs. If you only have one set of loops, you might need to adjust your weight a little. My shorter loops just make this a little more challenging. 
and then you will take your knees, the ball, between your knees. When you lay down, if you are so far back that the head is not on the box, that's harder. If you want it easier, come forward so that your head is on the box. I'm going hard for advanced. Hands behind your head, elbows wide, squeeze the ball. Little reverse curl with your lower body and upper body comes to meet it and then back to neutral. Big exhale, squeeze and tuck and back to neutral. Take your time. Nice. Three more. And two. Hold your next one in. Give me little pulses, one inch and one inch. So it's a little reverse curl, almost like you're doing a little imprint, release, imprint, release. You can also pulse your upper body. Three, two, hold it. Now squeeze the ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull the knees in. If your head is off the box and it's okay for your neck, you can look back. If that doesn't feel good, don't do it. Take a breath. Okay, second set, we're going to put that ball between your heels. Your knees are going to be wide and a little V. You're going to pull the knees in, close the knees, bring them away, open the knees. Pull the knees in, close, bring them away, open, pull in, close, come back and open, pull in, close, come back and open. You're doing great. We're almost there. Now this is a one direction. You know what that means, right? Two more. One more. Oh no, I'm gonna lose my ball. Switch directions, come in. I'm gonna have to move it. Open, go out, close. Come in, open, hold out together. So when you come in, you hold it. You hold it while you open. Then you go back, then you come together. You come in, you open, you go back and together. Come in, open, back, together. Let's go three. You're doing great. Open, back, together, two, open, back, together, one, open, back, together. Pull those knees in. Take a stretch. Head can rest or you can keep it up or you can have the hands behind it. Okay, we've made it to one more to go. This is going to be a doozy. We'll finish with a bang. So take the ball. You're going to put it on your right thigh, your right forearm, left hand supporting your neck. This ball is going to be smushed with your right knee and right forearm. Let your left leg go out. Do not put any weight in the left leg. Pull it in. Do that again. The leg can go an inch out. You're already going to feel it if you move an inch. That is great. If you need to move all the way out, that's also great. And then come back in. And I'm going to crunch up the best I can. I'm just holding, I'm smushing my ball. Try to smush your ball with the right knee and the right pinky finger side of the forearm. And back. Squish the ball, it's an isometric. And back. This left leg does not have to go super long. Remember, it can go an inch. That's fine, you just wanna unweight it. Two more. Now hold your left leg the next time. Squeeze the ball, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I told you that'd be fun. Okay, rest. <laughs> one more to go. This is the grand finale, and then you've made it. A uh, whole hour of abs. Put the ball on the left pinky finger side of the forearm, the left leg, so you can see you're squishing the ball. Your right leg loses any weight. It's going to be slack. It can go anywhere. Bring it back in. Squeeze into the ball. Bring it back in. 
If this is too much, you feel like you're going into an arch, don't go as far with your right leg. You can do it. Nice work. Looking good, we're almost there. Keep squeezing. Two more. Last one, hold it out there, squeeze the ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come in, roll yourself up, take the straps off of your thighs. Hold the straps in one hand and then place the ball under your shoulder blades and lean back against the ball. Take your straps one in each hand now and then we're gonna do a little stretch. So I want you to do a bicep curl, lay over that ball into a big extension, just whatever extension your spine feels comfortable doing. Circle the arms up, around, lift yourself back up to where you started. Bicep curl, you lay over the ball as much as comfortable for you. When you're over as far as you'd like to go, you punch the arms over your head, you might even go farther. I'm gonna stay here, it feels wonderful. Circle the arms out and around, you lift yourself up and come forward. Now just because it feels wonderful for me doesn't mean it feels wonderful for you. I know everyone's different. So you're just going over to where you feel comfortable and then you're coming up and around. Good, two more to go. And one more. Good work. Put the straps in one hand, grab the ball with the other, work your way up. You can put your straps away. You can put your ball into the foot bar. Just a little stretch to finish. Take your box off. Hands onto the foot bar. Your left foot can go up against the shoulder block, left knee on the carriage. We're doing a little lunge stretch. And when we're doing this today, it's more of to stretch your abdominals. So I want you to drive your knee really down into that carriage. I want you to push your sternum or roll your shoulders back, lift your sternum, push your tail down, pull your abs in and do a little back bend and then take your left arm, reach it up, and do a little side bend. So you're getting a big release from all those oblique exercises, all those ab exercises we did. Get in a big stretch, come back to the center, do a little back bend, get that nice release, and then come forward and go to the other side. So we'll step to the other side. So think more about ab stretch, right knee on the carriage, right foot against the shoulder block, push back. You're gonna lift your sternum, drop your tail, pull your abs in, look up and find that kind of little arch in your back. Your right arm can go up, feel that arch. And then lean to your left, get that release. Keep dropping your tail as you lean. Drop your tail and lean. Come back to the center. Lift your sternum. And then set the hand down and come all the way in. Well, I never knew if I could make it through an hour of abs, but we did it. <laughs> so awesome work. I'm also going to be putting this up as two 30-minute workouts for those days where you might not want the 60 minutes of abs. You can get 30 minutes of abs. Thank you so much for working out. I'll see you soon.